Hey guys, this is Shauna with One Choice for Your Store, and I want to do a follow up to a post that we did about the Yahoo Store floating shopping cart settings revisited. We had a couple of questions, and I just want to go ahead and clarify those for you. Now, first, if you're not exactly sure what the heck a Yahoo Store floating shopping cart is, um, it's a great little add on that Yahoo added last month, and basically, it adds a little shopping cart, tells people how many items they have in their cart, what the total price is on every single page of your e commerce site really great addition and really great way to increase sales especially when you put into place the shipping calculator and the coupon promotion code really great way to increase those sales but one of the things that we happen to notice is that here we say um, we've got one frog bikini in our cart and our total is $15 and we're going to check out now once we get to our actual checkout page we've got two frog jackets and one frog bikini for a total of $25. So this has something to do with your actual cookies on your system. And if you're having this problem, like maybe a customer calls, they don't complete the order, then a customer calls and you try to complete that order online, you may see some of that old information even though you clicked remove from cart on either the floating shopping cart side or in the actual cart itself. If a customer has this problem, just take their order via the phone and make sure to close that sale. Don't tell them how to remove the items because you don't want to lose that sale. So one of the other things that we had talked about and the questions that we received is we talked about when somebody actually goes and purchase an item, what should they do? Should they just have it go into the floating cart or should they be sent to the checkout page? And our testing shows, especially for stores that are selling products where people come in and buy one item and then they check out, definitely have them going to the checkout page. If there's there's been some multiple problems going on with the Yahoo floating shopping cart, Adobe on my machine and just uh, multiple issues and what we've noticed is if you send them directly to the cart, you avoid any of those issues, you can close the sale, and then when they go back into your store, they can go ahead and see that information. Now, of course, besides the cookies. When you have that floating shopping cart and you put the add to cart to action to take the customer to the checkout, why would you want to show the floating cart? Why not just hide it? And the reason why is because we don't want to kind of scare our customers and let them know, oh, it's right there and that's where it's going to be. Um, if we go ahead and we put that cart in from the time that they arrive at our site, they see zero items, they see zero dollars, they can click on that, they can get more information, they can find out about those coupon codes, and you can use that as a selling tool. So that's something that you want to consider and that's why I recommend showing those things. Now, is this absolute concrete that you should do this for every single store? No. What you need to do is try out these settings and test that. Test, test, test. Try out other settings and test, test, test. Until next time.